DIY beading is a creative and rewarding craft that involves designing and making your own jewelry using beads. This versatile craft allows you to create a wide range of jewelry pieces, from simple bracelets to intricate necklaces and earrings. Here's a guide on how to get started with DIY beading and create your own jewelry. Basic DIY beading supplies. Beads. Choose beads in various colors, shapes, and sizes. Beads come in materials such as glass, wood, plastic, metal, and gemstones. Consider the design and color scheme you want for your jewelry. Stringing material. Select the appropriate stringing material for your project. Common options include beading wire, stretch cord, nylon thread, or leather cord. The choice depends on the type of jewelry you're making. Findings Findings are essential components that help you finish and secure your jewelry. Common findings include clasps, jump rings, crimp beads, and earring hooks. Needles and thread If you're working with small beads or intricate patterns, you may need beading needles and specialized beading thread. Pliers Flat nose pliers, round nose pliers, and crimping pliers are useful for manipulating and securing findings. These tools help open and close jump rings, attach clasps, and crimp beads. Wire cutters Wire cutters are handy for trimming beading wire or thread. Bead mat A bead mat prevents beads from rolling away and provides a soft surface to work on. It also helps keep your beads organized. Clasp and closure options. Choose clasps or closures that complement your design. Options include lobster clasps, toggle clasps, magnetic clasps, and more. Steps to create DIY beaded jewelry. 1. Design your jewelry. Plan the design of your jewelry piece. Consider the type of jewelry, bracelet, necklace, earrings, color scheme, and bead arrangement. Sketching your design on paper can be helpful. 2. Gather your supplies. Assemble all the beads, findings, stringing materials, and tools you'll need for your project. 3. Measure and cut stringing material. Measure the length of stringing material needed for your jewelry piece. Add a few extra inches for adjustments and knotting. Use wire cutters to trim the material. 4. Add clasp or closure. If you're making a bracelet or necklace, attach the clasp to one end of the stringing material using jump rings and pliers. 5. String your beads. Begin stringing your beads in the desired pattern. Use a beading needle if necessary, especially for small beads. Experiment with different arrangements until you achieve the desired look. 6. Secure beads with knots. Tie secure knots between beads to prevent them from moving around. Use a surgeon's knot or square knot for added stability. 7. Add spacer beads or accent pieces. Incorporate spacer beads or accent pieces to enhance the design. These can add texture, color, or visual interest to your jewelry. 8. Create a pattern. Follow your design pattern as you continue stringing beads. Pay attention to the balance and symmetry of your design. 9. Finish with clasp. Once you've completed the beading pattern, attach the other end of the stringing material to the clasp using jump rings and pliers. 10. Secure and trim excess material. Secure the knots and trim any excess stringing material using wire cutters. Ensure that the closure is secure. DIY beading allows you to express your creativity and make personalized, one-of-a-kind jewelry pieces. Whether you're creating gifts for loved ones or designing accessories for yourself, the possibilities are endless. With practice and exploration, you can develop your skills and create beautiful beaded jewelry.